Spend a week of fall mornings with me as a mama and homemaker and homeschooler. Each new day brings about something different. This morning, the routines do continue though, as I get my coffee going, light a candle, get laundry going, and the kids start on some activities. They got to do some painting outdoors on a crisp morning, and then I started some work in the kitchen. There's always rhythms and routines in my home, and I've shared some videos on those with creating natural flow in your home, with having the own rhythms and routines for yourself and for your children, and so I can link those in the description box. But on this particular day, I needed to take care of cutting my five block or five pound block of cheese that I ordered from Azure Standard and then taking care of the yogurt that I had made the night before um, but I'm actually going to be letting that rest in the fridge longer because I love it as Greek yogurt but I'm kind of just restocking my kitchen on this particular day it's a Monday so I'm making our homemade ranch with yogurt um, like I said I did the cheese just doing some snack prep and just doing the things that need to get done at the front end of the week so we have things for the rest of the week. My little guy and I are making my power bars or protein bars, which I have made for you before and you can find over on the blog because I restock those almost weekly. And then I'm experimenting with a new sweet bread recipe. It'll be a sourdough applesauce cranberry bread, which will come to you closer to the holiday season over on my blog as well. It was a hit, so I definitely will be sharing that with you as the... Um, Christmas season, cranberries seem to go with Christmas season, will be coming. And then in the mornings after the schooling is done, we get outside while the weather is beautiful. Getting some watering in because it has not frozen or even frosted yet in South Dakota where we are. It is super late, I feel like, for us to not have had even any frost. As I'm doing this voiceover, we will have had a couple nights drop into low 30, so we did get some freezing. But as of now, I'm enjoying my fresh zinnias still and my potted plants and just taking care of that. So I did refrigerate those protein bars and getting them cut and packaged up into the glass storage container to put in the fridge for the week. I also had soaked some raw cashews for about six hours or so and I roasted those overnight and salted them and they will just be a wonderful snack to have for a couple weeks for us as well. So that following morning, I put just a milk and powdered sugar glaze over that cranberry bread and it was so delicious. One of my daughters said, this is my favorite. Cashews were done and so I put those in a storage container as well. I think the fun thing about having kids home with me while homemaking is they learn along the way. They learn the homemaking skills. They get to see how you take raw cashews soak them salt them and they are crunchy and salted and crisp and not just bought in a container from the store don't get me wrong i've bought salted roasted cashews and they're delicious but why not make it if you can right if you got the time and they get to see me make things from scratch and help do those things and just be part of the whole process of a home and finding things that they enjoy doing as well and getting them involved. So I'm working on a sourdough artisan loaf this day and getting that started in my, my mixer. I made 
make a loaf of bread or two, usually two sandwich loaves of bread every week. But today I wanted to change it up a little bit and do an artisan loaf and give that a try as it's been quite some time since I've made an artisan loaf of bread. And I gotta tell you, it didn't turn out as great as I was hoping. So I'm gonna have to keep working on my artisan loaf. And then I needed to restock some of my pantry staples. I buy in bulk with a lot of my normal things you cook and bake with like salt and baking soda, baking powder, sugars, flours, all that stuff. I buy it in bulk because we live in a small town so it's nice to just have it on hand, walk down to my basement pantry, grab the bags, grab the buckets and refill my upstairs uh, cabinets and cupboards with what I need for the week because feeding a sourdough starter you do use more flour and me being an avid baker and cooker I do definitely go through the baked goods a lot more. I was also trying to remake my homemade vanilla. This one has having some issues so I added some more vanilla beans. It's been in that jar for over a year and it really just still tastes like the vodka I use so not sure what's up but we're gonna attempt it now so that maybe in two or three months four months I don't know it'll actually taste like vanilla so it's just trying to enhance the vanilla flavor and not so much of the alcohol flavor and then just again so my spices needed restocking especially those fall warm spices like cinnamon nutmeg cloves those needed a little more refill and just getting everything set for a week, two weeks of baking. enjoying some fresh garden tomatoes so picking those so we can have those for the week to enjoy This particular day I decided to spend some time in my closet. I needed to go through and figure out what needed to be cleaned out from summer, what needed to be brought in for the fall, what fit, what didn't fit, what I should donate, what I should maybe hold on to and put in storage or offer to someone else. So the dresses I am showing you are ones that I am keeping. There's ones that will be great with tights or leggings, ones that will be good for the transition from the warmer days we've still been having into the cooler days. And so I enjoy just wearing dresses all year round. And um, there's just a few that I keep. I'm not a minimalist, definitely not. I feel like in the fall, I tend to actually have more clothes than I do in the summer. In the summer, I wear just like five or six outfits over and over again. But when fall hits, I feel like I have more options because I have dresses that you can put sweaters on with, put leggings or tights on. Um, you can wear some comfy, more dressy pants like I am in this day in this video you can throw cardigans over things and just mixing and matching with layers I think tends to be something I enjoy about fall so I did notice though there are some jeans that I had tried on that no longer fit they are tight so I have been working out more and lifting and so I've had to either get rid of those jeans that were too tight or give them to someone else because you know what my size has changed I've had three kids um, but I've been trying to maintain my muscle which I think is really important for all of us really to keep that muscle especially as we age because you know what we fade our bodies fade and maintaining a good body with good quality muscles I think is important and I'm doing it while I can because um, I just think God has given us this time to care for our bodies and that's what I'm doing so I'm trying on different sweaters for you here 
the first cardigan I'm getting rid of. It was so itchy. Um, this next one was new, but on clearance for seven bucks. And I just love that cream color. So there my sweaters and cardigans are in my box, organized and beautiful for fall. My basket of donations with some jeans in it, some sweaters, some other clothes that I will be getting rid of. Now I also found this jacket jacket type of thing at a thrift store and I think I'm going to keep it. It's a little big but when it gets cooler and I have another sweater underneath it'll be kind of fun to wear and then this other little lighter weight jacket will be fun for layering if I do decide to keep it. Almost all the clothes that you saw me pull out or try on were either clearanced or thrifted and that's just my style. A lot of items I cannot link for you unfortunately because I do get them secondhand. There are a few pieces I have that are staples in my closet, like leggings that I do buy new. Um, some other like plain t-shirts that I often wear, I will find new. But other than that, a lot of things are secondhand. So got the bread in the oven and out we go outside to do some more homeschooling and a little Bible lesson. And the sun is bright and beautiful on this fall day. So for lunch today, I wanted to make biscuits and gravy. So that's what I'm working on. It's a yogurt-based biscuit, and they're really good. They've turned out really well for me on most occasions, and it's just kind of a fun way to use some of my homemade Greek yogurt. And then just a pork gravy that will be going with this meal. So it was another beautiful morning. You got to see our lunch before uh, we actually went back outside, but it was a beautiful day to start unpotting some plants to ones I want to save inside and over winter. So I like saving some mycolius, some geranium, some snack dragons, and just either keep them in my basement with my grow light or take them out to my husband's warehouse and just have that beautiful life inside. My flowers lasted a very long time this year, so I don't feel too bad having to toss a few out. It is Thursday on this day and it is time to do my bathroom cleaning. I have my routines and rhythms for cleaning as well and I share a cleaning video, a few cleaning videos actually, and a cleaning blog post that you can check out if you go over to my blog just about how I have a routine that I follow flexibly. So not every day or with flexibility, not every day do I stick to what I have written down on that particular day, but it happened to work out that on this Thursday, which is my bathroom cleaning day, I could get that accomplished. Kids were busy playing, so I took 10 minutes to wipe the sinks, or sink, wipe the toilet, wipe the floors, um, quickly clean the bathtub. That doesn't always get an extensive clean, but today I got done what needed to get done. And then we were on to our schooling. <music> The kids and I took a little road trip to a neighboring town 
to do something for our women's church group. And so while we were out in that other town, we stopped at one of my favorite coffee shops, got some coffee, saw their fresh flowers that a local grower had brought in, got some special drinks and enjoyed just a little bit of the morning out. And we were back home before lunchtime even, giving us enough time to be able to spend outside. last of the weekdays, Friday, I lit a candle for our breakfast meal, was doing our breakfast by candlelight as everybody was still asleep. My husband had made some coffee for me and so it was off to getting our routine started again and I get to do the living room cleaning and the hallway cleaning. This was my Friday and so just taking time to do that. The kids are playing. One of them loves following me around, the little guy. And so just getting some of the stuff done that needs to get done before we start our homeschooling for the day. I've said this before, but routines and rhythms are essential for me. And that time after breakfast, after I've been ready, dressed and ready, the kids are dressed and ready, I spend a little time doing some housework and some house cleaning. It's just kind of the rhythm, the system that we've set up for our home. And if you guys have a system that you do that works, I think that's great. If you don't, I recommend looking into something, trying things out that work for you and your kids and your family some more laundry on this day as laundry is a daily task on weekdays so getting some of that started before we do a little bit more baking we probably finished off our last bread already that we had made on the monday and so we're making a chocolate protein muffin which i've shared before and then i'm making some croutons with that flop of the artisan bread that i tried to attempt on earlier that week so you don't ever have to toss any bread out you can do other things with it so i saved some of it for croutons and then later on that Saturday or Sunday, which you don't see, I made a French toast casserole. So don't waste that bread, use it up in other ways. So I'm making croutons on this particular day. enjoying the last of my zinnias as the frost is coming soon getting a little more outside time a little stroll with my kids and going to be reheating some lunch for us as the noon hour approaches i hope you enjoyed coming along on these weekdays with me and seeing little snippets of my morning life